Okay, so let's try one of these examples in context. So we have three, five, excuse me, we have 50 cc's of a 3% solution, and this solution is added to water to make 300 cc's total. And they want, to want us to figure out what is the concentration of the 300 cc solution. So again, we can go back to this formula. If we, <coughs> that same idea, the amount doesn't change. So we're explaining this. If we multiply the percent times the volume, concentrate times the volume, before and after the dilution, we should still get the same amount. We haven't added any more of the actual substance. We've just added water to dilute it and increase the volume. All right, so <coughs> um, my V1, so what I'm starting with is going to be my 50 cc's, and my concentrate that I'm starting with is 3%. So how did I know that? They told me there are 50 cc's of a 3% solution, and we're adding water. So if we add that water, that's going to be our dilution, and we're looking for the new concentration of the, of the 300 cc. So you could go through, if it helps you out, you can go through and label what your different things are. So the first volume they give me is 50 cc's, and the percent that goes with that 50 cc's, the concentration, that should be a 1. Um, <coughs> should be 3%, and my second volume, they told me my new volume is going to be 300 cc's, and my new concentrate, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So all we have to do is take this and plug it into the formula. The hard part is determining what is what. Once we get in the formula, it's a pretty straightforward um, linear equation that you already know how to solve. So, I have C1, which is my 3%, times my, I need to put a little dot there for times, 50 cc's. And then I have my C2. Well, I guess in the formula they do the volume first, but uh, do you know why it doesn't matter here? Because multiplication is commutative. So if I do the 3% times the 50, it's the same as doing the 50 times 3%. So I apologize if that's a little confusing, that it doesn't match up perfectly, but I promise it does mean the same thing. Um, all right, so now I just have to solve for C2. So I'm going to divide by 300 cc's on both sides. So I have 3% times 50 cc's divided by 300 cc's is equal to C2. And when I do all of the division, you could change this percent to a decimal. Your cc's are going to cancel, right? And you could reduce the fraction. You'd reduce this guy, and 50 goes into 100 twice. So you end up with <coughs> a pretty small number. You end up with a half a percent, so 0.5%. Um, how did I end up with a half a percent when I reduce all of this? The percent's still left there. Um, 50, or, or excuse me, 3, I did the 3 into the 300, it left me 100. And then I did the 50 into 100, that left me with a 2. So I was left with one half percent. And usually we don't write a percent, a decimal, or excuse me, a percent as a fraction. We would write a decimal, so I just switched the one half to 0.5. Alternately, you could have put this in your calculator. 3 times 50 divided by 300 you put that in your calculator, we'll give you 0.5. So our new concentration is just a half a percent, so 0.5 percent. 